For Norwegians, fishing is more than just an income, it is part of their identity. Fresh salmon out today. The salmon gives us the possibility of having work and industry along the long, long coastline. And you know, there's people living on a lot of islands in the very deep fjords, and uh, this is the key industry. Camilla Bredesen runs the Salmon Visitor Center in Oslo, where tourists can learn about and taste Norway's most exported fish. There is hundred ways to prepare salmon. You can do it raw, you can just cut it to sashimi and eat it. And you can do it the more traditional way, which is of course the smoked. Norwegian seafood exports to China hit a new record high in the first quarter of this year. Over 40,000 tons of salmon, cod and other seafood were shipped in April, an increase of 18% year-on-year, making Beijing the third largest market for Norway's fish. This comes as demand for such products has seen a bounce back in line with China's reopening after the pandemic. Yes, it is very uh, prestigious in China. We thought it's high quality and it's more expensive than the salmon from other countries. China is one of the most exciting growth markets for Norwegian seafood. Today it's approximately 5% of the value of Norwegian seafood, but the potential is really there with such a large population. The council says Norway's fish stocks have remained broadly stable in recent years, but it needs to find better ways of eradicating a problem that specifically affects salmon, salmon lice, before the industry can expand further. Currently, salmon lice are removed mechanically, but a significant number die during that process. Handling will destroy the, uh, the mucus on the fish, it will destroy some of the skin, and you get uh, sores and wounds uh, in, 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 on the fish. So we need to find a way how to separate the fish from the uh, open seawater in order to control the uh, salmon lice uh, situation. Despite these ongoing issues, regulators say there is no health risk for people eating the salmon. The Norwegian Food Safety Authority control the whole food chain from the fish farm and to the export to China. And in that place that the fish is safe to eat. For now, carp remains the most popular fish in China. But due to a growth in the country's middle class, the more expensive salmon is gaining popularity. And that's set to create more demand. A demand that Norway's fishing industry will hope to satisfy. Johannes Blechberger, CGTN, Oslo.